And good afternoon and welcome to 11 Alive News at 4. I'm Jonathan Martin. And I'm Jennifer Bellamy. And tonight for Faith Jesse, this afternoon we are learning new details about what happened on board a hijacked bus. 11 Alive's Grace King joining us live from downtown Atlanta where that chaotic, the chaotic ride began. Grace, the bus driver is grateful to be alive tonight. He really is. Ernst Antoine says that he stopped in downtown Atlanta off Ivan Allen Jr. Boulevard before driving for miles through parts of DeKalb and Gwinnett counties on that chaotic ride. Now, I spoke with his daughter, Karen Antoine, yesterday. She says her dad had decades of commercial driving experience that helped him navigate the bus through heavy traffic and police tactics designed to stop him. If he didn't drive, the gunman threatened to shoot Ernst and the other passengers on board. Today, the driver explained his decision on ABC's Good Morning America. I don't know exactly what uh, other people will do on my place, but for me, I was right because uh, people always come in first. I was ready to die for them. All of Gwinnett County's bus drivers are contracted through Transdev. In a statement, that company told 11 Alive that it's very proud of its operator for remaining cool under pressure under such challenging circumstances and that his ability to remain calm and trigger the silent alarms on board the vehicle as trained helped contain that incident. They say their deepest sympathies are with the victim of Tuesday's tragedy. Grace, we certainly can't forget that victim identified as 58-year-old Ernest Byrd Jr. What are you hearing or learning from family members? His family wrote in a good GoFundMe post earlier that he was a good and honorable man. They think of him as their provider and protector that can't be replaced. Live in Atlanta, Grace King, 11 Alive News. All right, Grace, we are certainly thinking about everyone impacted there. Uh, right now on our website, you can read more about the bus hijacking. You can find this story under the crime tab on 11alive.com.